Yep. So I just get so clumsy when I'm nervous. What are you nervous about? Um, I'm, I'm supposed to be meeting some people here for the first time, and I've got the jitters, which <laughs> is what this place is called. Hey, it is. At name, don't you think? I do. It's funny. You know, you get nervous, you get the jitters, you go for coffee, and the caffeine acts as a stimulant, which makes you shaky, which could also be known as... The jitters. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get it. Okay. We're gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm really very, very sorry. Don't worry about it. Good luck with your meeting. I hope it goes well. Thanks. It did. What is good YouTube, Wash you here with a video on The Flash Season 4, Episode 15, Enter Flash Time. So Jesse Quick and Jay Garrick were back. This week, this episode was very good in my opinion. Bit of a filler episode, but there are some massive plot points that we're gonna go over. It was pretty cool how it started in real time with Barry Allen going to Iris West, which as we said during the trader breakdown, that was going to be the last person that was going to help Barry before he discovered how to stop the bomb from going off and how to stop stop Central City from blowing up. Now, it was pretty interesting. And before we get into actually how the end of Flash Time, they did actually say something quite interesting. So it turns out that the thinker, Clifford DeVoe, has been using these pocket dimensions for three years around the city. So he's been planning this for three years. He's been planning absolutely everything, planning the dark matter hitting the bus, meta humans. He planned absolutely everything, which was pretty cool. So the bomb went off because Barry wasn't fast enough and Joe West hit the panic button which got Barry out to the Argus Argus facility to try and stop him but they couldn't stop him and the bomb was set off and obviously Jessie Quick was back because she was trying to make up with Harrison Wells her father which we later found out is to do with him not opening up about his about Jessie Quick's mother which is kind of understandable but it was a pretty awesome episode some great plot development between Harrison Wells and his daughter Jessie Quick it's just a shame that she's just taken a new job on a different show so she won't be around much past a cameo role so Barry Allen went round to each person individually trying to get help so we are seeing in Barry Allen's eyes not their eyes so to speak so it looks like Barry Allen's walking normally but really he's moving around at supersonic speed it's just what we're seeing so he went to Cisco first and then Cisco worked out that it was it's a fusion bomb and that he can't vibe it vibe it into another earth because time is not running in normal time because it in Barry Allen's time, time is frozen, and Barry Aaron Barry Allen is running around at supersonic speed to stop the bomb from going off. So he finds out that Vibe is basically useless, and also the everyone in Flash Time can't actually stay in there very long. Then he goes to Harrison Wells, tries to get him his help. And what is interesting is Harrison Wells tells him to blow up the speed force, put the bomb in the speed force, which is kind of ridiculous because that would destroy everyone inside the multiverse, would get rid of absolutely all the species in the whole multiverse earth one earth two earth 25 every earth it would get rid of like reverse flash and everything but at the same time it would destroy the multiverse so that isn't even a question and jay garrett gets really angry when he even considers that and then they go to hill of frost and she tries to freeze it and gets absolutely nowhere obviously jay garrick is one of the oldest speedsters so he couldn't enter flash time for very long so he had to get fr well he had to leave flash time and then it was just left up to jesse quick and barry told jesse quick to go away use your speed get away but of course she didn't she went to her father which was pretty interesting so he goes to iris west last and she goes iris he goes iris you are my right my lightning rod and if you remember it, it the episode into the dinosaur running away with the dinosaur sorry that is where we found out the lightning rod and iris says why don't you kind of then she explains how they got him out of him they used the device to trick the speed force into thinking barry's there so barry went into the speed force took it out which kind of set off a massive thunderstorm i guess you could say so does that mean that godspeed was made does that mean that mina was made um i don't know it would be pretty cool um i don't think godspeed could be could be an actual villain for a whole season but if they were to tease him throughout the whole season and godspeed was only to appear for like five to seven episodes i think godspeed could 
being a, a villain. Could he appear now? Yes, he could appear. Could Mino appear? Because during the episode right at the end, Jay Garrick said he's training for a new speedster. Could it be Mina? I don't know. So in the end, he does save the day, but only just. And it's a very interesting episode. Not the best, but a bit of fillery. So he saves the day by throwing that ball at the Demite Dimension and then the lightning hit it and then it basically stopped Central City from blowing up. And then Jay Garrick woke up and then Jesse came out of it. And it's pretty cool because Jesse Quick and Harrison Wells made up right at the end of the episode. And the device he made for Cecile to hear, well, to, to dampen memories, he basically opened up to her by letting Jesse hear her mother and the kind of relationship they had, which is pretty cool because now they're, they're, they're back together. They're kind of on good terms, which is pretty interesting. It really is a shame that Jesse Quick is on another show because if she wasn't maybe she could stick around to help with the photos with the devo stuff but it doesn't look like that's going to happen so jay garrick mentions that he's going back to his own earth and, and he's training up a female speedster which most likely is jesse quick but seeing as jesse quick can't be on the show um it might not be jesse but seeing as we don't really see jay garrick anyway it doesn't really matter so it most likely is jesse quick which is kind of interesting and also the ending scene was pretty cool we got to see mystery girl who everyone's calling dawn allen but come on guys it's not being confirmed i mean it could be dawn allen i hope it's not but it could be dawn allen so she she, she bumps into h she bumps into harrison wells and killer frost and i think what she's doing is she's going around meeting everyone on team flash and um i mean i had a quick look at twitter and everyone seems to think that she's evil because caitlin's like i hope you meet who you're supposed to be meeting and she's like yes i met him and then she does this sinister kind of look i mean does this confirm she's evil no she he does look pretty angry is she working with clifford defoe i'd be surprised actually i really hope that is a surprise that i don't see coming this year um it would be pretty cool i mean I, I did start thinking that obviously the group that tried to set this bomb off at the start of the episode it could be like the black hole in the kind of dc rebirth and maybe we are going to get a mean on godspeed storyline because i know she's an activist but they didn't really mention too much about why she was doing what she was going to be doing they brushed over it but it would be cool if we could get Mina Godspeed kind of storyline in the future maybe for season five guys let me know in the comment box down below did you like this episode did you think it was a bit of a filler I mean it would have been better if we had Kid Flash um I mean like blowing the speed force up was pretty ridiculous I mean they can't run back in time I mean if you're willing to blow the speed force up I think running back in time a little bit a couple of minutes would make a difference and that would have been more viable option but it's pretty cool that they kind of went into speed force and used that as the way to stop the bomb from going off i was pretty happy with this episode next week we do have run iris run and her lightning is actually purple but i think that's just to kind of give to make it clear that she's a different speedster from anyone else i will be doing a trailer breakdown for that later on and most likely will do a video about kind of this mystery girl coffee ship girl jets girl because her interactions have been pretty interesting anyway guys please like subscribe and comment guys that would be awesome we are closing in on 10,000 subscribers it would be awesome if you can help the channel get to that if you've got any video requests for anything marvel dc flash arrow and that kind of stuff let me know in the comment box down below hit the bell button down below to join team war you and i will catch you in another video guys very soon catch ya later